So now that we have a Boolean expression, the question is, what can we use them for? And the most obvious thing to do with a Boolean expression is to use it to control the flow of our program. Now the way that we'll do that is by using the Boolean expression as a question. So for example, we might ask a question using a Boolean expression where we know that the answer will either be true or false. If the question is true, we might perform one task. If it's false, we might perform a different task. This kind of a structure in computer science is often called an if structure or a selection structure. And syntactically, the way that we are going to write this is to put the Boolean expression into what's called an if statement. So the syntax for an if statement is pretty straightforward. Let's start off by just defining a couple of variables. So let's have a variable called x, which will set equal to 5, and y, which will set equal to 10. And now let's write our if statement. If, and this will be followed by a Boolean expression. So let's write the Boolean expression x less than y. And then we'll put a colon. This Boolean expression becomes the question that we're going to be using to make a decision on what to do in the next step of our program. So if we hit return, then the first thing we want is what's called the true part. If x is less than y, for the true part, let's just go ahead and print the word smaller. Now, if it's not x less than y, then the syntax is else print, in this case we'll do larger. So what you can see is that the if statement has two parts, a true part and a false part. If the Boolean expression is true, perform this statement, else perform this statement. So if we run this program now, we can see that it's going to print out smaller. Why? x is 5, y is referring to 10, x less than y, 5 less than 10 is true, so we perform the true part, print smaller, and then we continue on. If we really want to see this continuation, we could put another print statement down here. Let's print the word done. So now what's going to happen when we run our program, we'll see the word smaller followed by the word done. Let's trace that again. x and y are 5 and 10 respectively. x less than y, 5 less than 10 is true. So we print smaller because that's the true part. Now we're done with the entire if statement. And so the next statement in line, the next statement in sequence is the print and we print the word done. So in this program, there's one assignment statement, another assignment statement, an if else statement, and then finally a print statement. There are four statements in this program, but the third statement is an if else statement, which has parts that is a true part and a false part. What I can also do, of course, is in the body of this true part, I can have more than one statement. So I could say print the word OK. So now, if x is less than y, not only will it print the word smaller, but it will print the word OK. Let's run that. So now we see x is less than y is true. We print the word smaller. We print the word OK. We're done with the if statement, and then we print the word done. Now what would happen if we switch this around and we make y equal to 5 and x is less than or equal to 10? Now x less than y is going to be false. And so if x less than y, if that's false, we don't do the true part, we go to the else part. And in this case, we'll print the word larger. That will be the the completion of the if statement, and then we'll print the word done. And so now if we run this program, we can see that it shows us larger 
and then done. Now, any place where we can have a statement in Python, we can have an if statement. And so, for example, in this if statement where we have a true part and a false part, there would be no reason why we couldn't put another if statement as the statement in the false part or the statement in the true part. If we did that, we would have what's called nested selection. So let's do this. Let's change our program slightly so that we're going to ask the question, if x is less than y, then we'll print smaller. I'm going to change the body of this to remove the printing of the word OK. Else, if x is equal to y, we'll print equals. Else, we'll print larger. Now let's think about the structure of this. If we go back over here to our picture, our first question, x less than y, this question has a true part and a false part. If it's true, then we know that x was less than y. But if it's false, we're going to ask another question. We're going to ask if x is equal to y that's going to have a true part and a false part. The true part means that they're equal. The false part means that y must be larger than x. So this nested selection allows us to choose between three things. The first choice, if x is less than y, we can print out a message. But if it's not less than y, we know it's either greater or it's equal. But unless we ask another question, we don't know which one. So let's come back over here to our code then and take a look what happens when we run. Notice in this case, x is greater than y. And so when we run our program, it is larger. This fails. We go to the else. We check the equality. It fails. So we go to its else and we print out larger. However, if I made x be less than y, now when I run the program, we can see that x less than y is true, so we print smaller, and that's the end of this entire if statement, and then we go on to print the word done. And just to see the third case, if x and y were both equal to 10, and I do the run, then I see that I get the equals being printed. So this kind of selection, sometimes called binary selection or two-way selection, is very powerful because it allows us to ask a question and then choose between two different flow of control choices as we execute our program. Furthermore, we can nest one kind of selection inside of another, which will allow us to be able to have complex conditions that are nicely structured to be able to decide between more than two things. In this example, three things, but we could extend that to four, five, six, or however many things that we wish to do.